All right, now that we got a grading group, we're gonna go ahead and create a surface from our grading group. So notice uh, over in the prospector tab, I've got a site called building pad. And in there, there's a feature line that I used for my footprint and I have a grading group called building pad. And that uh, grading group has three objects in it. If you want, you can right click on that group and go to the properties and uh, check out the properties. It'll tell you that there's three objects involved with that grading group. Also notice that in this information tab, you can go ahead and create a surface from that grading group. So if you check that on, it'll say, okay, you wanna make a surface, give the surface a name, and that surface will then be listed over in your prospector tab in the surfaces section. So you can specify a design if you, or a, sorry, a style if you like, say okay. It'll ask us some questions here. The tessellation spacing has to do with how it's gonna create break lines. Uh, so if you have a fairly small grading object, you might want to uh, make that a bit uh, tighter of spacing and give it a little more accuracy. Also, you might want to compare this grading uh, group to a existing ground surface, and that uh, will allow you to calculate some volumes quickly on the fly. So that's always a good idea too. So if you set your existing ground surface there, uh, go ahead and say okay you'll notice that it will now generate a surface that's listed in your grading group. But keep in mind that this surface is still dynamically tied to that grading group. So if you delete the grading group, the surface will disappear as well. And this surface will behave just like in any ordinary surface. You can go into your surface properties, check out some of your surface statistics and find out some information about that. Uh, notice that it also has now some contour lines available because not only do you have your grading group uh, appearing on your screen, you also have your surface that you, are, that you created from that grading group. And uh, that's about it uh, for creating surfaces from grading groups. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye now.